So, can you tell us how you feel that MPG is spared from the hurricane? Because we believe in a God. As long as God do it, we, nothing bad can happen. So, right? are you happy about it? I'm happy. I did pray for that because, um, you know, the hurricane is uh, serious thing, you know. Were you prepared when you heard that the hurricane was uh, was approaching Belize? I feel it too because, you know, all the way the Belizeans, you know, um, we have a feeling. Uh, a lot of people stay with the roofing. Uh, you know, I've got I watching from the internet. Eh? Um, I see a lot of, you got a little flood too, you know. Yeah, I see some two cantinas like that, he drop on top of some vehicles, eh? um, a lot of damage. But thank God, down here it's good. I'm a good lad, right? Eh? You know, yeah, yeah. we're trying to get with God, he's here. Yeah, but some people you know, don't remember God. God, that, eh? that's the power, that's the way, that's the way father, you know, the king of the world, you know. He's the reason why we didn't get hit. We were blessed beyond measure. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not as critical to me. It's not as critical critical as they're saying because I felt in my heart that everything would be all right. There was a few things that was happening up there in Belize City, and um, I feel bad about it. But we're fine. I mean, what else? What is? What else is there to say? We're blessed. I'm just glad yeah. that we're okay. But like yeah. I said, my heart goes out to the people up in Belize City and surrounding areas where it happened. That yeah, hoping everybody be all right. Yeah. How you feel that uh, PG has been spared? Toledo district has been spared. Well, like we all know, PG always blessed. Um, we we not get hurricane in this part of the country, and um, luckily we always blessed. We we not blessing every other way, maybe by government assisting us with things, but. Um, with the power of the Almighty, we are blessed from natural disasters and stuff like that. We sympathize with the people of Belize City and Cayo and Orangewalk area because it's it's a devastating situation. Um, but if you right now at present, this is the early morning, Thursday, and um, we are supposed to go to see if we see all the boats here, but we wait for the all clear from the government and. Um, we will not move, we have our guests waiting, but um, we will follow the rules, we are tour guides. How do you feel that you have been spared from um, the hurricane? First of all, I have to thank the good lad for that, because, I mean, yo, know the good lad, you know, the man of nature, man of nature take your own course, you yeah. know, so. And you are from Punta Negra? I'm from Punta Negra, and I feel safe about everything. No, 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 nothing real got well, damaged. I can't say real damage because I don't reach out there yet. Yeah. So when I reach out there, they don't want to know. But I call not reach PG. Well, my personal opinion, um, God knows best. Uh, this is God who's war. And I, I didn't think, I do not think that Toledo were really spared. I just believe uh, based on the, the, the way how the, hur the hurricane, Hurricane Lisa came through our country, uh, we, um, the, the scientific of it, that was the reason why we were spared. Uh, uh, surely it's God's work. Uh, but I've, I've, I'm sympathized. I've, I'm sympathizing with the other Belizean uh, who have suffered damages to their property and losses to their, to their personal uh, items and so forth. Uh, I'm really sad about it. Uh, uh, it's kind of set back everyone, uh, set back for those who have suffered. I, I must say, um, here in Toledo, uh, police officers like myself and two of my sergeants and my deputy, uh, we live in Belize City and uh, we have suffered some damages to our property while we were mining Toledo. Uh, um, for Toledo, uh, I, I want to say thank you to the community. Uh, we were well behaved and I believe that was good spirit. That's why I believe we were spared. Uh, um, uh, we had about 14 shelters open during the duration of the Hurricane Lisa, which saw a total of almost 1,288 persons within these shelters. Uh, um, so we were ready. Our NEMO coordinator here in team in Toledo, uh, uh, I think, worked together uh, so that we could have, have a good preparation in, in the event that Lisa would have hit us hard. 
uh, I also saw uh, while the, the the state of emergency was given when the hurricane was approaching, uh, good citizens of Toledo, most of them uh, went inside, they were not on the street. I would like to say a big thank you to my officers who have committed themselves on 12 hour shift and who uh, really, really came out to, to provide the safety and to assist in patrolling that people do not burglarize.